Now, I've been to a lot of Vegas events, including Raider games. Been to the T-Mobile and the MGM Grand multiple times. Even been to Bellator MMA a lot of times. I've been to UFC before, but this is going to be the first UFC vlog I do in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, yes, look at that poop. Yeah. The calm before the storm. Out here in Vegas, yes, yes. Ooh, it's hot. The homies got some pizza. Yes, yes. Uh, I gotta get ready for the UFC thing. Been out of the house and uh, ready for the big show. Yeah. Pizza. Ready, one, two, three. Hey. Yes, yes. CC. Hello. Well, where, where the drinks at? In the fridge. Look at that! Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I'm over here for not my first UFC type of event. I've been to it when they had it in the Bay Area, but the first UFC in, the Spear. Yes, yes, look at that. Now it turned out yellow, but uh, we out here though. First time, so one and done type of thing. After this, supposedly, supposedly, the UFC is gonna have no more shows out here in the Spear. So definitely gonna be a big experience. Out here with the homies though, hey! So some of the homies and uh, yes, yes, and uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy. I, I don't know what to expect, but it's gonna be something where. Just look at that! Look at that! Got these uh, faces, emojis, and all that. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be a new feel. Um, and for our seats, we didn't really get more in the lower section. You know how I'm always lower section, Leo. But uh, I'm not gonna be that too. We're sitting in the 300s to get more of the good view of everything. So I guess the better seats are gonna be more in the upper level to get, get the TV views and all that. So let me show you my experience. I'm definitely juiced. Uh, it's my first UFC vlog too. So been waiting for this for Are you gonna ask, oh what? Hey bro, what's up bro? Appreciate it. Happy dad. Happy dad. But uh, I'm not a dad, so I, I'm kidless. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Just right behind me. Woo! Gee. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. Uh, you know, it's a Mexican Independence uh, Day. Uh, you know, the whole weekend's just been wild. I got my Mexico hat. Got the got the Mexico. This is like a soccer type of jersey, but custom with my last name on it. So, ah, uh, no, excited. So. Here's my experience uh, at the Spear. Yep. Yeah. There's the entrance right there. Oh man, I want to buy stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm the, uh, well, I'm trying to get some people. Man, they got. John Jones, they know those John Jones. So go to our seat first. Dude, those are some clean jerseys. Man, I want to buy so much. They got some clean merch. Ah, man. They even gave out this uh, this hat. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to wear it, but if anybody wants to let me know if, if I still have it. But uh, hold up, hold up.
we're gonna go into one section 100 just check it out real quick and then we'll be out and for those that don't know sitting in the 100s area for a lot of those seats were considered bad seats in the sphere because you didn't have much of the view of the actual screen going from the bottom to the top of the roof Woo! Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner, a stand-up fighter, holding professional record, 25 wins, 11 losses, won no contest. He stands, five feet seven inches tall. Where is Mexicano? Flying <laughs> out of Shanghai, China. Whoa. The His opponent, flying out of the red corner. Whoa. Five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds, fighting at Las Vegas to Bella, El Nino! Look at that, it's a drone. I'm on TV, guys. Man, I think it was loud when it was right next to us. <laughs> Sheesh. Contest 29 28 for the winner by you, Dan and Mr. Sergeant Raul. I'm here with the winner, Raul Rosas Jr. Raul, first of all, how exciting is it to be the first person to fight and win in the sphere? Yeah! Thank you, history, just 19 years old, for the first and the youngest. And hey, everybody else that's a reader know what's coming. So on the count of three, I want everybody to spin two wee with me. One, two, I'm just 19 years old. It does. I'm just getting bigger 
more experience, more wisely. So game it's time to sit down and talk numbers with the kids, talk about topics, you know, put it next. But meanwhile, I'm gonna need them 50 G's, baby! Congratulations. Woo! Now these are advertisers, holy crap. Oh, damn. Equal. Hey! Commission, introducing Push, Fighting, out of the blue corner, out of the red corner of the Clark Awards, California Mexico! In charge, Mark Smith. He's no Herb Dean. I don't know. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Come on, knock him out. Knock him out. He's gonna play a long game because of the legs. Well, you got it. You got it. Rushing. Don't give him light. Oh. oh, he knows it, he knows it. 30 seconds. Baby Cinco! Okay. Ah. Okay. He's calm, he's calm. Take him down, take him down. Take him down, take him down. For the experience so far, they haven't, uh, it's a prelim, so they didn't do none of that, the seat vibration thing that they, uh, promised. Nothing lit, lit up yet. Um, it's the second prelims match. So, until then, we're still waiting for the, the good special effects. But, we got your, uh, fancy cup holders. Yes, yes. CC. Uh, good, uh, no leather seats, but definitely a firm. Oh! CC! Freaking advertisement! Look at that camera! She kicked her in the balls! <laughs> She has to make sure both of them are intact. <laughs> So I'm over here at the bar. My friends got a margarita with the cool ass cup. Got so jealous and uh, the third fight still, or fourth fight, whatever, still not going on. So time to get me the drink and uh, experience it myself. This is the bar with all these little lights. Yeah. Yes, yes.
the seats vibrate again. Hey! Move the seats again. Of the world title. Coming up next, high stakes indeed for the women at 135 pounds. Man, she's busted open. Look at that. Man. She's got blood on her knees. Oh! 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 You can see her skull. I really believe that I'm better in every aspect of the fight game. Let's go. Fighting out of the blue corner, a striker. Oh. <laughs> the ring grows with the Dia de los Muertos dress. That's dope. <laughs>
Let's try to pull Muhammad Ali. The next level. For centuries.
It's missing the pixel. And that was the end of the show. The UFC thing, the Dolce 306. Woo, I lost my voice. What a great show, but let me get out because of the music though. Look at that, look at that. Woo, man. Got my cups, yes, yes. Man, look at that, though. Woo. More beautiful at nighttime. That's what's up. Yes, yes. So, this is my room for the weekend. And, uh,. I'll show you guys uh, my what I bought in a bit. Um, oh man, I'm tired. Feeling good though, buzzing like a mother. But um, you know, so great experience. Probably one of the best experiences that I've uh, ever really been. Like it rivals like WrestleMania. It, I mean, to, it almost kind of rivals going to an NBA Finals, but you know, it's not really like the home team type of you know whatever. But like the whole intro and like the whole presentation of like introducing the fighters and all that in the intro videos like that like ufc took it to a whole nother level like imagine imagine if wwe or like a, a rap concert did that because right now i think the only concert they have going on is uh journey and uh youtube um so they're still kind of working on that but and the thing that sucks too is Dana said that it's gonna be a one and done type of thing. Let's see if that really happens. Hope would be cool if they had like a boxing uh, spear, you know, show, but I can't really see that happening. And then, woo wee. Man, this one looks clean. Oh, damn, this. Like, it definitely feels like it's stitched. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is clean right here. So the cool thing about this one is it it, it looks like a throwback from uh, the Mexico uh, national soccer team's uh, jerseys from back in the late 90s. Yeah, that's what I bought. Tired as hell. You can sell them by my eyes, but great time. And like I said, I still got a lot of vlogs to catch up on, but wanted to get this one as soon as possible. Uh, so hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, because I'm all over the place, so I'll definitely have more content for you guys pretty soon. Still buzzing, ready to knock out. My homies bring food, that would be great. If not, you know, because right now all we have is beer. Lots and lots of beer still. No liquor, just beer. So until then, adios, CC.